Good morning, mathematicians. Today we're starting our new unit. It, we're starting with lesson 6.1 on multiplication and division number stories. In this unit, we're going to focus on three main areas. First of all, we are going to be doing a lot of work with division and long division. We'll learn two different ways to do long division. We'll do the traditional way, and we will do the partial quotients. Second of all, you're going to learn how to draw some angles and how to measure angles. And third, we're going to work on finding things on a map. Let's get started on a warm-up. The problems are on the board. Over on the left, you need to find the product. On the right, you need to find the quotient. Go ahead. We know that these problems, they go together. They would all be on a fact triangle card together, and we call them inverse relationships. This is multiplication. Multiplication is the inverse or the opposite of division. I'll say the problem, you say the answer. 2 times 5 equals 10 divided by 5 equals 3 times 6 equals 18 divided by, divided by 6 equals 5 times 4 equals, 20 divided by 4 equals. Erase your board and begin your next set of problems. I'll say the problem, you say the answer. 7 times 4 equals, 28 divided by 4 equals, 8 times 3 equals, 24 divided by 8 equals 5 times 9 equals and 45 divided by 9 equals. Erase your board and get ready for your final set of problems. I'll say the problem, you say the answer. 7 times 8 equals 56 divided by 7 equals 6 times 7 equals 42 divided by 6 equals 8 times 9 equals 72 divided by 8 equals. Please erase your boards and set those aside. We're going to take a look at two different ways that we can set up some multiplication problems. On the board it says there are six rows of chairs. There are four chairs in a row. How many chairs are there in all? One way we can set up this problem is by, making, by filling in one of our charts. We also call this a multiplication or division diagram. Hmm. So we know there are, we're dealing with some rows. So I'll write rows up top and there's six rows. The next one says blank per blank. Okay, so if we had rows over here on the left, it's going to be blank per row. So it's chairs per row. How many chairs per row did the story problem say we have? Right, there's four. And then the question states, how many chairs are there in all? So we need to write down chairs in all. And since that's a question, right now we would write a question mark. Or in fourth grade, we know we write a variable. So we want to know C for chairs in all. So our number model is six rows times four chairs equals C. What is our answer? Right, 24 chairs. And then we write a summary number model. That means our number model with our answer. Six times four equals 24. There's one other way we could look at it. Here's the same problem. There are six rows of chairs. There are four chairs in a row. How many chairs are there in all? Okay, well let's do the same work except let's use this chart below using our dots. So six rows, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. There are four in a row, so one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And then we just need to add up our dots. Well, I know when we have a six by four array, we are doing the problem six by 4. 
So multiplication, when you hear the word by, it's the same as saying times or multiplied by. We know six times four because I know my sixes song really well, and I know it goes six, 12, 18, 24, and then we can write that in. So six times four is 24. We get the same answer of 24 chairs. So when you're working today, those are two different strategies you can use. You may use the dot paper to show the problem. You might also use the multiplication or division diagram. Open up your book to lesson 6.1, multiplication or division number stories. This is on page 138. We're going to try the first one together. Who would like to read the directions at the top of the page? Good. Number one says then, the profit from the Maple Street Lemonade Stand was $36. Four girls will share this amount equally. What will each girl's share be? Okay. So we know the total they made. So the chart says we need to figure out how many girls, dollars per girl, total dollars. Which of these two things do we know can we already fill in? Right, we know that total dollars is 36. We know that there are four girls. We don't know how many dollars per girl, so just write a D there. When we're looking for the share, or if they're sharing equally, we know this is a division story problem. So we start with our whole number, 36. We're going to divide by 4 for 4 girls, and it equals D. What should our answer be? Right, it's $9 per girl. And then we write our summary number model. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. You will continue this pattern for the rest of the page. For right now, let's go ahead and look at page 139, and we're going to do one of the challenge problems on that page together. This is number 6 on the page. It says, last year, Martina sold 73 boxes of cookies for her club. This year, she sold three times as many. If she collects $876 this year, how much did each box cost? Whoa, so we know how many boxes she sold last year. We know this year she did three times as many, and she collected $876. So how much did each of the boxes cost? Turn and talk with your partner and see if you can figure out what the label should be on the top part of this box. There is a little work we have to do before this. You're correct. So first we had to figure out how many boxes she sold in initially this year. We know it's 73 times 3. So let's figure that out quick first. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, now let's fill in our chart. So we have boxes that she sold this year. We have dollars per box. And we have dollars. We know how much money she collected this year. How much money did she collect? Right, 876. We know how many boxes. We just figured that out, 219. We don't know dollars per box, so put D for dollars. Now it says number models with unknown. Well, first we did 73 times 3 equals 219. So that's the first thing. Then we can put a semicolon to show what is our second story problem we're doing. Right, we're doing 876 divided by 219 equals D. Let's go ahead and solve you have a board right by you. How many times can we count by 219 to get to 876? Right, the answer is four. It's four boxes, so four dollars. So our final summary number model should be 73 times 3 equals 219, semicolon. 876 divided by 219 equals four. That is one of the most challenging ones that you will have to do, but remember, sometimes there will be two steps to a problem. So today, we know it's 1-23. We did mental math. 
It says here, optional math masters. I have some extra printouts of the dot paper or of the multiplication division diagrams if you wish to use that. Then you need to complete page 138 and 139, which we started together. And finally, in your math journal, you're doing page 140. It's a review of extended multiplication facts. And of course, math box 6.1. Your new blend space is uploaded on the Google Classroom, so you need to check for Unit 6. And I labeled the names a little bit different. It's called Practice A and Practice B for whichever one you're at. So those are the ways you're going to work towards your goal today of I Can Solve Division Numbers Stories.